Alright, um, this is a brief tutorial mainly for uh, user Katsucross who wanted to know what settings I use for making a good quality mp4 file. Um, I start with a template that's 59.94 Dublin TSC frame rate. Um, it's not in here by default, I don't think. Maybe it is. Yeah, it is if you're using Sony Vegas 10. There's already a template for it. So that is the template I use when you open a new project. Um, afterwards, you take your Hophog HDPVR recording and put it on the timeline. Um, this tutorial will be a little bit similar to my last video about my settings. The only difference is my render settings, but I'll briefly walk you through the process again for what I do to enhance the quality. Um, if you're using, if you're filming in um, standard 4x3 aspect ratio for like a PS2 or GameCube game or N64, um, you're going to want to change the pixel aspect ratio of your recording to um, NTSC DV um, because the Hophog stretches the recordings of 4x3 um, if you're using a component cable. So that would be for that, but if, if you're doing it from the Wii, keep it how it is because that is neither of these options. Um, then go to Video Event Pan and Crop, and I have a template here for um, this particular Wii game. Um, it looks like this. It just kind of fixes the borders that are put around it. And the last thing I do is go here and um, enhance the brightness a little bit. Same brightness settings from my last video. Um, then the important part is my render settings in my last video I recorded in WMV but this time I render in um, Sony AVC MP4 and my settings are a modified version of the uh, 1280 by 720 30p template the only difference the only thing I change is the bitrate from 8 million I drop it down to 4 million and it's really not that bad of a quality drop and it's um, file size effective a 20 minute video comes out to be a little bit over 500 megabytes and it looks good so um, as you can see from videos that I upload um, it looks pretty nice so I just made a template called 1280 by 720 um, 30p uh, for MVPS and it's about half the file size from this template and the quality is a little bit worse but it doesn't sacrifice that much in my opinion so then after that, the only thing to do is save and wait for it, and you're good to go. So, um, thanks for watching, and um, comment, rate, subscribe, uh, and ask me questions if you have any. I know this was a little bit brief and kind of vague at points, but um, I mostly want to just show you my render settings. Thanks for watching.